I hiked up this tower at nighttime. The sun's just coming down. That's the Grand Canyon back there. It's cool up here. It's like a sketchy amusement park ride. Tied the dogs up at the base of the tower and I could hear Dodger breathing. There was a little bit of thunder that happened back here and he was looking right at it so he saw it. He couldn't hear it because it was so far away but he saw the flash and so now he's kind of panting a little bit but it's a nice night. So I'm 80 feet up. It doesn't sound like a lot but it's, it's a lot. Like I said it's like, an, it's like a sketchy amusement park ride. the Grand Canyon back there. Everything behind me right now is the Grand Canyon. Here's the hatch. But it's locked. I guess there's a little room up here. It'd be cool to go up in there, but I mean, I'm at the top. It's so cool up here. There's a cell tower right there. I'm tucked into the woods in the National Forest and I got this cell tower right here. So I have a really good cell signal, which is pretty cool. So I've been streaming uh, Stranger Things. I'm watching the, the last couple episodes of Stranger Things right now. It's pretty cool to be out here in the woods watching something creepy and having a good time with my dogs. I went into the Na Grand Canyon National Park store, the grocery store and bought a couple groceries and it was so expensive. So I was able to buy a few things like some fresh spinach, a little bit of cheese. And I kind of cheated and I got a little bit of ice cream. <laughs> but stuff was so expensive, like a little Ben and Jerry's, one of those small little Ben and Jerry's was 10 bucks. I didn't buy that, I bought some really cheap ice cream. This is cool, like I feel like I could camp up here. There's no room though, I mean, it's sketchy, like I'm holding on. Really, like really tightly I'm holding on, because I'm scared of like falling. Because it's kind of open, like there's a little bit of wire fencing up here, kind of keeping parts of it closed, but you could easily fall down these steps. And you don't want to do that, because you can hurt, look at that. <laughs> So this is the fire tower. And you could see for miles up here. I know it's getting dark right now, so you can't see that much, but I can't see that much either. I can just kind of see the horizon. I can see a city, little town that way. That's probably, maybe it's Cameron, the city of Cameron, which is like east of the Grand Canyon National Park. And there's a road out here, you can see some cars coming by. That's the main road that goes alongside the Grand Canyon. It actually, this kind of feels like home in a sense, like, uh, like I'm at the ocean. Because the trees just kind of come to a stop like they would at the ocean. You know, they go down to the beach. But here it's just a mile down to the Grand Canyon. I saw some more lightning. It's far enough away, like it's over there in those clouds up there. I can't hear it. But if it was striking nearby here, I wouldn't be coming up into this tower. I'm a mile from the National Park border and this is free camping. It's so peaceful out here. There's only one other person camped out here. So it's dead quiet, but I feel really lucky I found this spot. I got this tower all to myself tonight. I mean, I'm only gonna be up here for another five minutes and then hike back down. But I'll tell you what, like I feel like I'm, like I got out today, like, I mean, look at where I am. Like, it's kind of crazy. I'm 80 feet up in the air in this tower, up in the woods. And that's what this channel is about. It's about getting out, getting outside. And hopefully I inspire some other people to get out too. Do what you can and explore a little bit. And 
get out in nature and see what's out there. And sometimes you end up with cool abandoned structures that you know aren't nature, but or structures that people have built that they're still using, like this tower. And you can have a lot of fun, and it's a great adventure, man. It's like the Goonies up here. So hit that like button. Me and the dogs like to know you're watching. So let us know you're watching.